Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video, we will be discussing about partition problem. This is one of the lead code problem. So let's understand this partition problem. Here we have an example where I have six numbers and with the help of these six numbers, I need to partition the numbers into two subsets, one and two, such that sum of elements in both subset share same sum. So firstly, let's try to do with brute force solution where I'll be visiting on each number and will fill up these subsets. But make sure once the number has been filled in one partition, it won't be going to the other. So here 5, I'll be filling here 5, then 16, let's give here 16. Now the subset 2 is greater than subset 1. Now when I come across 11, I'll fill up here 11. 5 plus 11 is 16. Both are 16 by now. Let's give 6 over here. Such that here it is 11 plus 5. 16 plus 6 is 22. Now after 6, if I give here 4, 20. And then this 2 I'll fill over here. Such that the sum for both are 22. They share the same sum. Now if I see the time complexity for this brute force solution. Let's see over here. When I came across 5, there were 2 choices. Either it can be filled here or in the second subset. Same with 16, then 11, then 6. That is all the numbers have two choices. So here I can write order of 2 to the power n and I am going on each of the number. So it will be n. That means the time complexity will be order of n to the power n. Now let's find out whether we can optimize this solution or not. So for this we will be using dynamic programming. Where first of all, I'll sum up the numbers and divide by 2. Why I'm dividing this number by 2? As I have to divide it into 2 partition. Let's try to understand this with an example. Here we have 4 numbers. 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I'll do as per first step, I'll sum up the number 2 plus 3, 5 plus 5, 10, 14. So I'll write here sum is equal to 14. And as I have to divide it into 2, I'll divide this sum by 2 so that I have 7. Now we will convert this problem into subset problem. Hope you remember I have also made the video on it, subset sum problem. If you face any problem in understanding subset sum, I'll give the link in the description below. Do refer it. So second step will be subset sum. So the cases arise over here are whether sum can be odd or even. The sum which we have taken 14 can be even or can be odd depends on the number. So as we are dividing the numbers into two subsets, the number should be even because here we will be taking in int. There is no float value allowed over here. So for dividing int into two subsets, odd number, we won't be able to take it. Now, when we have even number, in sum, the cases can be either we can able to partition or we cannot. So how we can handle this? This we can handle, let's say we have numbers for partition x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 whose sum is s and we are assuming it to be even. Then we need to calculate s by 2 from these numbers so as to divide it into two partition or rather in two subsets. Now so as to detect s by 2 value whether it is present in the number or not. See here we will be having two sets. Through subset sum problem we can detect that these numbers share the sum which is over here. But what about the rest numbers whether it is present or not. So 
to detect s by 2 value whether it is present in the numbers or not for that we are calculating s by 2 because this s we have already calculated from these numbers only so if we have s by 2 in one set then the other will be definitely there let's understand this with an example we'll be taking the same numbers here first step we need to calculate the sum sum is 44 now when i need to calculate sum by 2 it is 22 now when i need to partition into two subsets i need to check whether this 22 is present in this subset 1 or not if this 22 is present over here then the rest numbers which are also 22 will be there in the second subset this 22 whether it is present in subset 1 or not this will be solving with the help of subset sum so here we will be taking help of this subset sum code and we'll be adding few lines to this subset sum problem so as to solve partition problem so let's go to pycharm and here i have a python code this is subset sum but instead of sum i have written here sum by 2 so as to calculate up till sum by 2 now for this code we have seen whether the sum is even or not if it is odd then it will return false then and there but if it is even then we'll be calculating sum by 2 and with the help of that table which we have discussed in subset sum we'll be able to solve this problem so i'll recommend you to go for subset sum problem using dynamic programming first so as to understand this partition problem very easily and i'll be giving this partition problem code in the description below so you can refer it so hope you have understood this code let's meet with the next lead code problem in the next video till then take care bye bye